What's up guys, welcome back to the video, another exciting update for the PS5 scene. And this time it's a little bit of a solid update guys, guess what, just like how we used to have it on the PS4, we now have a working, functioning webkit exploit for the PS5. And this is for 4.03 to be specific, that's what we've been focusing on in the previous video as well. And guys, it is here, if you look over here, just a few hours ago guys, Zulkner did go ahead and drop a tweet saying, we've released a small write-up and code for some user-led execution on the PS5, DNS redirection to HTTP works as well. Now this is awesome news guys, if you look over here, it does go ahead and involve all the details about this WebKit exploit. I will be leaving the links in the descriptions for those who want to know everything in detail you guys can go check it out so looking at the bottom of it guys these are who the credits go to chendo chap zulpner anonymous specter sg and everyone else that actually donated specter did go ahead and drop a comment about it and this is more along the kernel exploits point of view so he did mention was hoping to get an x fact bug working like we have on the 9.00 but the exploit scenario on the ps5 is much tougher than the ps4 might still be possible to find a way but a lot of work will be needed to put in to finding a viable part so guys this there is some possibility of a kernel exploit also that Spectre is going to be looking into. So all of these are pretty good news to go ahead and put together. But at least the user land portion is out there so it can be attempted and tested for anyone on 4.03. Now that does come with the question, does this work on lower firmers than 4.03 or does it have to be exactly 4.03? Now to answer that, I will get to that in just a bit. But this is some kind of interesting news over here. Uh, someone did comment the webkit still works for 4.50, which is almost the latest one. I'm not sure I have a check about if that is the latest one right now, but does that help with anything? Respond, not at the moment, but yeah, he did test it again and looks like it takes a few tries, but it still works. But looking into that, guys, uh, looks like this WebKit exploit might work on a higher firmware too, just like how the 9.00 WebKit exploit works on 9.03, but it's pointless because it does not have a kernel exploit. That's what this particular comment did go ahead and respond to. With that out of the way, guys, so this is my particular firmware, my PS5 is still in the box i haven't touched it out and i don't think i'll be taking it out to test this one just yet until i get some pretty solid stuff to go and test out right now when you go and test this out you're just going to get a few different not notifications so just to prove that the webkit exploit is successful so if you remember in my previous video um my first update video i did mention that this is the firmware that i have on my particular ps5 thanks for this comment over here he did mention your ps5 seems to have 3.02 firmware not 4.00 i was under the impression that 4.00 is what i'm supposed to look at but this firmware is pretty confusing to look at, guys. Um, so apparently, one, two, three, four, these four blocks is what actually matters. The rest of them is just random other uh, versions based on region and all the different changes over here. So this is what you need to consider. So mine is on 3.20 right now. I'm not sure how many of you guys are on that particular firmware. So if you are on 4.03 or anything below, let me know what firmware you're on in the comments. Drop me a comment. Let me know about that, guys. So here is good news. So everyone who's wondering what to do if you're on a lower firmware when the jailbreak drops, looks like right here on the PlayStation.com, you do have the same way of how you update your PS4 also for the PS5. It does say you can update the PS5 manually, which is the same method. You need to have a USB drive formatted as FAT32, also NTFS works. Uh, have an update folder, and then you remember how we used to have PS4 update.pup? except now it's PS5 update PUP. So that's pretty much it guys and pretty straightforward. So we can go ahead and update our firmwares to 4.03 if the jailbreak drops specifically for 4.03. So that's good news for anyone below 4.03, so how we can go and tackle that particular issue in case you have that question. So apart from that, guys, that is awesome news. We do have a WebKit exploit right now, and we just have to still get a kernel exploit. So remember, for an entire jailbreak, we need to have a WebKit and a kernel that works together in order to have a jailbreakable PS5 console. So right now we do have the webkit, so we're waiting on the kernel. So let's just see and hope the next few updates and we might have a PS5 jailbreak sooner than we thought guys. So this is pretty interesting. I'm so thrilled and looking forward to the next updates and I will keep you guys updated as always and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, happy gaming and goodbye.